Hi, I'm Mags again from Wikitree. Great to see you, Grin. Thank you for joining us at Roots Tech. Great conference. We're having a lot of fun. We're tired and we are working ourselves to death. Uh, today we want to talk to uh, Wikitree in chief Chris Witten and uh, DNA uh, master extraordinaire Peter Roberts, who is uh, also one of our great Wikitree leaders about DNA and Wikitree and kind of what where we've been where we are and where we're going in the future with DNA on Wikitree. Chris, do you want to uh, kind of address what the, your vision is for Wikitree and the future of DNA at Wikitree? Uh, well, the exciting possibility of DNA is that we could someday actually scientifically confirm our entire tree. You know, so we have this 13 million person tree, but obviously a lot of it is, is not correct. Um, and the exciting possibility is to correct those errors which we're working on. Every we day. We constantly work on that. That's one of Wikitree's main goals is to have a healthy tree. And you can't have a healthy tree without sourced information. And Sorry. DNA is, is the ultimate source. And, so uh, after the genealogy is done, that doesn't, replace, no, that doesn't, it doesn't replace traditional genealogy. That's what the family relationships are based on. But the DNA can validate or invalidate it. Peter, so... Where did we start? When you first started uh, with Wikitree, where were we with, with our DNA? Was, was there any DNA even around? As I recall, you, you would get a DNA icon saying that somebody had taken a DNA test, but the DNA was not being associated. If you'd done a Y chromosome test, it wasn't being directly associated with the direct male line, the direct paternal line. And, um, and, or, and also with the mitochondrial DNA, it wasn't being associated automatically with the direct maternal line. Right. And so I suggest, suggested that that could be done. And so what happens now is that the, the mitochondrial DNA goes up the direct maternal line as far back as it can go, then it comes down through the daughters of the daughters of the daughters. Similarly, with the Y chromosome, ups up, up the male line, down through the sons of the sons of the sons. And this is on Wikitree, it does this now. Automatically, if you say that you take a DNA test, you take, say what kind of DNA test you took, hopefully you're also in a public database like Y-Search or MitoSearch. With autosomal DNA, you need to be in GEDmatch. You can compare between the different labs, and you can do that through the facilities at Wikitree. And, and so if I go to my great-great-great-grandmother's profile, and I've tested, I'm gonna appear on her profile? You will, You'll, it'll show that you took a mitochondrial DNA test and if you have a direct maternal line cousin who's also done a mitochondrial test, it will show that on her profile and your profile and it will show on, on her profile, it will show you. I do actually have a, a, a fourth grade grandmother that I've been able to prove that my grandmother is her great, great, great grandmother, which, which was a huge thing because there was some funky stuff going on in the family. Do you think people use Wikitree a lot to help identify those triangulated groups in autosomal or to identify those people? We've got 37,000 people that have said that they've taken a DNA test. Mm -hmm. Not all of them have uploaded all the information that they could. They haven't joined the public databases or they haven't put in their haplogroups of that, and that sort. But we do have some really extensive lines that have been tested. There's a woman who, who did a mitochondrial test and she goes back 35 generations on her direct maternal line. That's crazy cool. Chris? Wow, I had no idea. I mean, yeah. Peter was just telling me about a paternal line back to the McGregor clan, yeah. which is 58. Generations. generations. That's the longest right now, but you know the, the line still needs to be confirmed by testing another McGregor, um, who's a very distant male line cousin, and confirming that that um, shared ancestor is is indeed a su sufficient Y chromosome match. Well, it is the opportunities to confirm that. I mean, so it's it's hard for people to visualize, but that isn't just one line. Then on Wikitree, it's then an infinite number of lines down, all those other maternal lines, paternal lines in that case. So there are so many opportunities for people that did not know they have that relationship. If that one distant cousin takes the Y test, they can theoretically then confirm both their lines all the way back up to that first shared ancestor. That, it, it, it's fascinating to be able to do that. Um, Peter, we were talking uh, over the past couple of days about how you have to have 
a portion of your tree public or yeah. what exactly what exactly is the privacy issue with sharing your DNA on WikiTree? The only time that the Y chromosome or the mitochondrial DNA is automatically propagated up a direct ancestral line is if um, the privacy level is has a public family tree. Right. A lot of people have joined WikiTree and they're set as red private, meaning that, that no one can see their ancestral tree. And so there's really little point in saying that you've done a DNA test if you are red private. And so one of the things that I hope we can do for the future is to get more people that are red private and have DNA results to, to show that their ancestral tree is public. And in doing that, you're not making your personal profile public, right? No. Anyone can say that their first name is anonymous or they use a, an, an initial for their first name. Um, so they can remain private in that regard. And uh, what's more, your parents can be private. Yeah. Right. So you could actually have a public family tree, but your parents could have private family trees and they will just appear as private mother, private father. Right then your grandparents will appear. Unless you're like me, and I got my dad, wonderful man that he is, he tested as well. So he also has a public family tree, so he doesn't show up as private, but the rest of his information is private. So it works out really well. So for the future of WikiTree and DNA, what do you see? One of the things that I see is that a lot of people now are doing next generation Y chromosome testing. Right. And they are getting SNPs within a genealogical time frame. What's a SNP? A SNP is a single nucleotide, nucleotide polymorphism. And it's basically a mutation on the Y chromosome that is um, usually unique within human history. Right. And so uh, at a particular location on the Y chromosome, you have a difference where like a C changes to a G. And you take that information and go into this next generation. It, so you can, that would be, that, it might be, let's say your fifth great grandfather has a, that a particular mutation. It was the first one to have that particular mutation in his direct male line. And all of his descendants will also have that same SNP. So it'll show up on WikiTree if they have entered that information. If you enter the, the SNP information, right. it will enter, it will be there. The thing is, is that these SNPs are within a genealogical time frame sometimes, and we need to find a way to propagate that SNP back to that, that earliest known ancestor without right. going beyond that. And the genealogical time frame is, is basically back to when surnames began. When surnames were, were first um, associated directly with, ma with male lines, and also when uh, church records and other records of um, civil nature were being recorded. I tell you what, it's so interesting. We could go on for hours talking to Peter and to Chris about what's going on with WikiTree and DNA, but we don't have any more time right now. Maybe another time we'll do more. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Max.